Hello there, I'm John Cox with Board Game Geek, and today I'm with Clay Ross of Capstone Games to look at Wildcatters, the second edition, right? Yes, that's correct. We just released this in January, so we're going to take a look at it today. Awesome, so what's going on? So in Wildcatters, everybody is an oil baron at the dawn of the oil industry, and what you're trying to do is you're digging for oil throughout the world, and your goal is to deliver the most oil to the various regions around the world. At the end of the game, whoever's delivered the most oil typically is going to win. It's going to earn your points. Um, you're going to need to build an infrastructure of drilling rigs, um, pump jacks, tankers, trains, and refineries in the various regions to help you accomplish that goal of delivering your oil. Um, you're going to need to have valuable shares doing so. Um, so everybody has their own company represented by these colors. You and can see these shares right here? Yes. So this, this is like, for example, yellow. This is their currency. So if they're going to be doing things um, using other players' um, equipment, for example, their train or whatnot, I would have to then pay that player my shares to do so. Mm -hmm. um, you start out with a limited amount of shares and you need to gain them by delivering oil. Um, but the key to any successful business is your workers. Um, these are going to help you build your actual uh, units, like your trains and your tankers and everything out there on the board. So you cannot forget about your workers. Um, but the game lasts over seven rounds. Um, it's two to four players, plays in about 120 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, it's very interactive. This is a game where you want to know what's going on on other players' turns because you can pay them to, to kind of piggyback on their actions. If they do a certain thing, you can pay them your shares to do the same exact action. So why do team. they want your shares? So the reason why you want other people's shares um, are because you'll consolidate them to these consolidation shits, and they'll give you points at the end of the game. They'll also give you an in-game bonus as well as you play the game. So um, they start out very cheap. For example, this one, uh, you need two of each player's color share, and then you can acquire this token. Um, and then they get more expensive as you go on, but they obviously are going to give you a little bit more better benefit. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, we don't ha what I don't have here shown is there's, a, there's area cards which show each of the areas. Um, we've got North America, South America, Russia, and, and Asia, and each area is split into two regions. Um, so an area card will have one of those regions highlighted. For example, it could just be the United States. And what that means is when you acquire that card on your turn, that's where you're going to do your actions. You, okay. can't, you can't build in Canada, you can't build down here. You're, you're locked into the United States. So it gets some variability there where you're trying to, to, to pick the right card. You might want to take a card so nobody else can get that one. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, really a neat system. You don't always get to do exactly what you want to do then, right? That's a good way of saying it, yes. So, so this is a second edition. Yes. How is it different from the first if people are familiar with the first one? Yeah, so for those familiar with the first or just brand new to Wildcatters, as you can see, there's a ton of wooden components out here. We have over 250 wooden components in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we did some custom <coughs> drilling rigs here, um, and then the tankers as well are custom. So uh, we have Wildcatter chips here. Um, just a plethora of, of wooden components. These were all cardboard before. Um, we changed the workers. Um, these used to This used to be money, and it was kind of confusing. Do I pay money or do I pay shares to do this? Mm -hmm. So workers you use to build your stuff and your shares to pay people to do things. So yeah. cleared it up. And then there's some uh, scoring tweaks, like the numbers we had to tweak a little bit uh, for end game scoring and some other minor tweaks there, here and there. But for the most part, it's, it's still the same game, but um, a little bit smoother experience than okay. what the previous one was. When's this one coming out? This actually released late January. Um, so uh, it's now fully available through your friendly local game store. And um, We've we've starting to see reviews come in and they're very very overwhelming well, uh, overwhelmingly positive so it's it's good to see that all right good so, stuff well um yeah. uh, anything else about it uh no this is uh that's that's pretty much Wildcatters in a nutshell I encourage you to try it great so. thank you Clay and that was uh, Wildcatters Second Edition thanks.